for this. A hello would have been normal. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Lauren. The first day I met you was one of the best days I've had in years. I turned around to see a beautiful woman with striking blue eyes. You were cracking me up before you even made it down the aisle. And I did develop feelings for you instantly. I came into this experiment with the feeling that I was going to be one of the lucky ones who found a forever partner. I couldn't believe it. I kept saying to the experts, they've actually done it. They've found my match. In the following weeks, we had some good days, but mostly the days were not enjoyable for either of us. And I felt like your walls were up and you didn't want to hear from me. I feel like you viewed everything I did through a negative lens. You would say I wasn't assertive, that I was boring and robotic. You said in your vows that you'll support and respect me. I don't really feel like you ever respected me. However, I kept trying because I was hopeful. When we went to Perth for homestays, it was an incredible few days. I felt closer to you than I had since our wedding day. I thought from the affection you were showing me that perhaps I was finally breaking down your walls and maybe winning you over. I saw hope and it made me happy. At the next commitment ceremony, it was mentioned that I'd been messaging Ellie. I didn't think this was an issue. You snatched my phone off me and pretended like the messages with Ellie were flirty. They were not. Seeing you so willing to lie like that to make me look bad astonished me. And by lying to the whole group to make me look bad, you showed you don't support me. And it makes me deeply upset. This is when I knew you weren't the person for me. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> right, that is just laughable. You're going. I do wish you all the best in this crazy journey we call life. Great, thanks for sharing. <laughs> Jono, I'm going to deviate from my expected acerbic tone and adopt an approach a little more foreign to me. I went all out for you today and managed to find my heart. <laughs> so in honour of this discovery, I'm going to speak to you from it. Our wedding day was magical. Everything I expected and more. The chemistry and immediate attraction was palpable. And I felt like the experts had got it right. When I saw you standing at the end of the aisle, all my concerns, reservations, and outside noise and cynicism melted away. Although we had our ups and downs, we were both willing to give it our absolute all. At least that's what it seemed. Our homestay visit to me was absolute highlight of our relationship. I felt like I could truly see some kind of future together outside of this experiment, and it was exciting. And then, of course, it all came crashing down. It was brought to my attention that you have been continuing to build some kind of relationship with another bride, one that you hid from me, and had the audacity to blame me for when you were exposed. My world felt like it had come crashing down around me. Instead of taking accountability at the final dinner party, you chose to try and flip the script on me. Blame me for not caring, never liking you, and not being here for the right reasons. Although you completely wasted my time in terms of finding a romantic partner, you taught me that I should always trust my gut. Jono, I don't see a future with you. And no, it's not me. It's you. <laughs> that was...
was amazing. What was amazing about that? Um, I think it was just amazing to like get out everything that I've been thinking and feeling and you know, all these like unresolved feelings of like, is this my fault or is it his fault? Like, I realized that it wasn't me, it was all him. And the part where he was like, you lied, you lied. It was like, well, actually you lied when you carried on a relationship with another bride. So don't try and turn it on me, mate. Oh, I did nothing wrong. I've apologized. She hasn't accepted it. I'm tired of apologizing for things I haven't even done. <sighs> I don't think Lauren wants to find a forever partner at all, but I do. So I'll take a bit of time and then when I'm ready, I'll, I'll start looking again. I want to find that special someone. I think I deserve those things and I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for it. I'm gonna find it. Oh, three at last.